Welcome back to Movie Masters. Today we're going to do a distance test of the DJI Air 3 and see how far this thing can get before losing the transmission or just, you know, maybe before it runs out of battery. But I dare say it will lose transmission before. A lot of places around the world are, do have interference by certain objects. I know the path I'm on has where I've tested my Mini 3 Pro. Um, so if I fly in the same direction, I will see how far we can get. Okay, I'm just going to put down this thing and launch it. All right. So one of the tips to get the maximum distance is to keep a complete straight line from where you're going. Take off. Home point updated. All right, so I'm just going to put it about 30 meters high. And away we go. Now I have decided to put this in sports mode. Now in the past I have done different te tests using the normal mode versus the sports mode. And yes, while the sports mode does drain the battery quicker, it also gets you there quicker. And in my comparisons in the past, I found it made almost no difference difference. So for the sake of getting this test done well quickly, we're going to use sports mode. So let's see how far we can get. Now I've got, it's not that windy at the moment, which is pretty good. It's the morning here. Um, I'm flying over just, well, some forests and some mangroves. So it is quite a safe space to fly. And I'm going about 19 miles an hour. So We've just reached past the um, 1100 meter mark. So yes, I am using it in meters. I see a lot of the tests online. They do it in feet, but I'm not in America. So <laughs> I'll see later if I can convert that into, into feet for you. I know the numbers look bigger. And you know what? I've got to 1500 meters and I had lost signal already. Oh, okay, it's still going. Weak antennas. I've got to say, that's a little disappointing. I'm not sure if there's anything in particular blocking my signal. But look, it seems to have picked up again. So we're at 2,000 meters now. Now I dare say, if this was maybe a little closer to the ground or if I was a little higher up, I might get a bit better signal. I've got three bars, two and a half thousand. Now yesterday, I will admit, I did this test already and I only got to two and a half thousand and then I lost signal. But I was, I've decided to take a more direct straight route. It's interesting how it dropped in and out, and now it's going fine again. So, coming up 2,800 meters, still traveling quite fast, 19 miles an hour. Oh, just hit the 3,000. Now, all that's below me is mangrove forests. Wouldn't want to lose my drone in here, but at least it wouldn't hit anyone. No one lives out here, except for some crocodiles. <laughs> Two bars. Now I'm gonna switch it back to normal mode. When you have it in flight mode, it disables any of the sensors. All right, so this is a record for me, 3,850 meters have just passed. Still at two bars, 52% battery. Oh. So I'm getting a weak signal, weak antennas just lost connection.
So that should return to home shortly, hopefully. I always get a little bit of scare when that happens. Okay, come on. Return to home. Ah, there we go. All right. It was returning to home. So I guess that's as far as I got, just almost 4,000 meters. We will see on the camera once we bring it back. Now we did stop below 50% battery, so I'm not gonna take that risk anymore and I'm gonna let it safely return back to home. But yeah, I tried this yesterday and I just got over two and a half thousand meters. Today I tried it in the same spot, but just I made sure I was just going dead straight in front of me and I got to 4,000 meters. Now someone's running their, um, their boat engine in the back, so it might be a little loud, but. And there we have it, safely returned to home, just getting over 4,000 meters with more than enough battery to get back safely. And for everything tech, gear, film, and sound related, hit that like and subscribe button. This is the place to be. Don't forget, keep on movie making. See you next time.